demanding and securing a pay increase for our beloved members of parliament. It seems our numero uno, our number one, our main minister, the optimist prime minister himself, to be fair, he's, he's more like a Decepticon, but our number one guy, the prime minister, David Cameron, has been exposed as profiting from financial voodoo. Is anyone really surprised? Really? <laughs> we knew as far back as 2010, when that coalition government was formed, that the majority of parliament had become millionaires. But scandal after scandal, leak after leak, we find ourselves here. Panama. Beautiful place, if I say so myself. Mind you, I have never been. Seriously, is anyone surprised? In my lifetime, I cannot remember a single year where in some way, shape or form, in most aspects of life, prices have gone up. Even kebabs. Can you believe it? Kebabs. Meet the so-called king of kebabs, the Royale. It's new to London, and if you want one, it'll set you back a whopping £925. Its creator has sourced the finest ingredients from around the world to create this mouth-watering masterpiece. And he thinks it's worth every penny. That needs to be the best fucking kebab I've ever tasted. Capiche? That had better be the best fucking kebab this side of London. That needs to be the best fucking kebab on the entire planet. The price of education has gone up. I mean, for most of these lot in office or in, in parliament, when they were going to university and etc., it was free. Or at the very least, they got a grant. The government said, here, educate yourself. Increase your potential for success. Now, today's generation, yeah, there's some bootstraps. Good luck to you. Well, I'll tell you what, I mean, you could, you get yourself into like, you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds of debt, you know, before you're even 21. Ridiculous. Now, I did make an attempt to contact Mr. Cameron to, uh, for him to, to come to ODTV and share his, his side of the story. Um, I actually, I made it all the way down to Downing Street, except I think, I think he was a little bit preoccupied. Are we going to let those who represent the few rule over the majority and just run roughshod and tread all over us? I hope not. But I am returning to Downing Street Saturday, the 9th of April to join the protest and see if we can instigate some real change. Shout out UK Uncut. Let us move onwards and upwards. Hashtag resign Cameron. Until we can initiate that paradigm shift, this is Banji Ojo reporting for ODTV, signing out. Love and respect. However, if we fail, I might have to uh, head over to Panama and uh, see what all the fuss is about. Who knows? Prime Minister, I must ask you about your sickening, if exhilarating, wild misbehaviour, molesting innocent pigs when you were groaning and straining and pouring with sweat, which must have been, frankly, terrifying. What were you thinking of? 
uh, one of those moments when you look back and kick yourself very hard. And I'm extremely sorry and very embarrassed about it. And I've Are you ashamed made, about it? Made well? my apologies, and uh, I think I'll probably be making some more.